Hi guys, I want to stop and talk today. So yeah, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I have the remake of Resident Evil 2. I started it last night and I'm already in love with it. I just think it plays really well and the atmosphere is super scary. <laughs> the first time you go through the, the grate, you know, in the, the police station where you open up the, the grating and it says keep out to the big note. Oh shit, probably shouldn't go in here. But you have to go in. I was just so paranoid. <laughs> just, ah. And then the four zombies at the end, one's a policeman and you know he's gonna stand up, but he doesn't, obviously. And I was just looking at the grate while the zombies are trying to come through and the door I'd came in like cycling between two shit while the zombies gonna come in one of these doors and yet here comes the policeman, wants a cuddle. <laughs> So, so far I really love it. I think it's amazing. I can't wait to play more. The main reason I want to make this video is because this really amuses me. It's because it caught me completely off guard and it's the, the knife. When you receive the knife off of Murphy, whatever he's called, I can't remember his name, Sergeant Murphy, you're like, oh, okay, knife, dagger, basically your self-defense if you run out of ammunition. I cannot believe how it's both effective and amusing, the, the dagger slash knife in this game. <laughs> First of all, I'm impressed by how fast she uses it. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog has possessed her arm, because in the other games it's just really slow and now... Choo, choo, choo. This is not going to be effective, I'm going to get my face mauled off by the time I've done my third swing. But the thing that really amuses me is because you can kill zombies that are on the floor with it. You can slash a zombie any time with it. <laughs> the first time I used the dagger was that guy who's trying to get snacks out of the vending machine. He's really determined to get a packet of crisps out of the vending machine and a Twix. <laughs> and I just snuck up behind him and just, just went wild with the dagger because I really didn't want him to turn around and eat me because I think it's going to be quite a hard game unless you play it really resourcefully. I already know that bullets are scarce. I don't want to waste them on some guy that's just got, mun got the munchies. <laughs> So I just snuck up behind him and just went crazy with it and yeah it was really effective and I was really shocked. He fell to the ground and I'm just like trying just not not to let any gap through because he could he could stand up and eat me. So I was just went wild with the dagger and he didn't have a fucking chance. This is really amusing to me guys. I think about it on the street and I start laughing. It's one of those situations that you laugh on the street if you think about it and you're like shit people are gonna think I'm crazy so then I got confident with it I was like right if I just if I just make sure I'm aiming at the zombie and I just swing it like crazy it seems they don't really stand a chance especially if their back's to you so then there's a policeman lying on the floor and you know he's gonna get up because he's a cop and he's a zombie and he's just lying there and you're like I, I know I'm on to you so I just I just was like, can you kill them on the floor with your dagger? So I just did, I just did you. And it worked. He starts, I'm so sorry, it's not even that funny. It's really funny to me. <laughs> he starts trying to get up. <laughs> he starts trying to get up. Sorry, this is gonna be 10 minutes of me just laughing, trying to tell you that something's not even that funny. It's just really amusing to me. Certain things just click in my brain, and I find them very, very fucking funny. So he's trying to get up, and I'm just not letting him. The thing that I really find very funny about when you hit a zombie that's on the floor, <laughs> just lying there, minding their own business, having a little sleep. They, they start groaning as soon as you hit them they start groaning and it's almost like they're complaining about it it's really funny and the way they're just trying to get off the floor while I'm hacking them to shit with this knife it's almost like someone with a bad hangover trying to get out of bed it's just really slow and gradual it's just moaning and groaning and amongst the oh. I'm just slashing the fuck out of them. 
and I was just sh completely shocked by how fucking effective the knife was. <laughs> so now I'm just going down the corridors with my knife out like this really stealthy. If any fucking motherfucking zombies <laughs> gonna come and get me, I'm ready with my dagger. I know it's gonna be different if it's a zombie that's up already. <laughs> I think it's gonna be different. I think he'll grab me. But a zombie that's got his back to you or is on the floor, <laughs> As long as you just keep swinging at it, you usually can get it. <laughs> it's just really funny. <laughs> the one that's at the top of the stairs. There's one at the top of the stairs that's looking at you and it's just still <laughs> against the wall like this. I picked up something it had and I was like, it still hasn't stood up. So I was just like, great, dagger time. It's just really fucking funny to me. I literally the first time it happened I had to pause it to just laugh for a solid couple of minutes because I couldn't quite believe the success I'd had with the dagger and the thing I really like is you can still hack the bodies even if they're on the floor and they're not animated anymore they're dead so to speak you can still slash your knife on them and you can hear your knife going in and the bodies move around like this so we're hitting them with your dagger. So anyway, that was uh, <laughs> that was Resident Evil 2. And never knew daggers could be so amusing. <laughs>